Hello, Epic 7 newbies. This is Suspect Amy, and I'm here to do a quick video about the right and wrong way to farm Rift, and why I made the decision to go back to hunts for the near future. Let's cover two topics on Rift. At what point is Rift better to farm than hunts, and when it is better, what is the optimal way to farm Rift? I'll try my best to summarize this table that compares Hunt and Rift on Epic Gear Drops. First off, I have to thank the amazing Reddit user QuizTolan for crunching the numbers. If you look at his Reddit history, he's been giving detailed and insightful answers to newbie questions for years, so he's a genuine hero in my book. I'm going to throw out all of the other numbers other than these three right here. The reason I'm throwing the rest out is because I really only care about buff events. On non-buff event days, I'm 100% farming hunts because they have sweep tickets, and Rift does not. I care way more about my time than getting a few extra pieces of gear. But buff days are a way different story. I usually have thousands of energy saved up to spend on farming, so I need to make sure I'm farming the right thing. These numbers are a bit old, so they don't factor in Rift buff, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to improve rift efficiency by 20% to account for buff events. I'm sure this isn't the proper way to factor in rift buff, but it's all my feeble mind can handle. Done. What does adjusted gear mean here? This is factoring in a greater weight to left side gear since it's more likely to be rollable than right side gear. This also factors in things like hunts dropping crafting materials, using those crafting materials on left side pieces, getting free epics every 30 crafts, and whatever else. This adjusted gear should be a true comparison for gear value between Hunt and Rift. So what does this all mean? The lower the number, the better. It means if you can clear Rift in one run, you can get an epic piece of equipment by spending 110 energy. Hunts will net you an epic piece of equipment by spending 162 energy. Clearing Rift in two runs is very close to the gear output of Hunts, but I'm not sure if it's worth doing due to the fact that hunts also give you powder, sky stones, energy, bookmarks, and mystic metals, which Rift does not. So now that we know that Rift is mainly worth doing if you can clear it in one run, the question is, can my waifu only account clear it in one run? Not having Wukong was an issue originally, but with these controller bonuses in place and using this team here, I am able to clear Rift in one run about 90% of the time. That's good enough for me. Next up, to get into how to properly farm Rift. Let me kill two birds and discuss why I've decided to go back to farming hunts. It's because of this right here, Reforge Mats. I have pretty much no Wyvern Reforge Mats and I have a bunch of speed gear waiting to be reforged. Rift distributes Reforge Mats randomly across all five hunts, which means you'll always get less Reforge Mats for upgrading pieces from a specific hunt than you would from farming that hunt directly. This means your rift farming needs to have a proper set rotation to avoid running into this same issue. For best results, you should put a set here from each hunt. Then, as you run low on reforge mats for a specific hunt, you rotate that hunt out. If you continue to rotate hunts this way, you shouldn't bottleneck yourself on reforge mats. What if you really need to farm a specific hunt hard, either because you just can't afford to rotate out speed set or because you need several sets from the same hunt. In this situation, you'll have to do what I did and bring hunt farming back for some buff events. For the last buff event, I had to rebuild my Wyvern 13 team. I wanted to use this same team for sweeping as well as farming, which means it needs to be fast but never fail. It was tricky with only waifus and not having Ken, but I was happy with the results. I'll post a separate video on my Wyvern team if anyone's interested. Anyways, my final thoughts on this is that Rift should be considered very late game content. If you're new or even a mid game player, I can't see how it's worth it to move away from hunts. These players need to hyper focus on speed set, probably until they can gear 100 plus heroes, which Rift doesn't allow. Along with the fact that Rift takes a month to ramp up and all of the other resources dropped by hunts helps you fill out your roster. Later on, when you have most of the heroes in the game and they're comfortably geared, Rift is optimal for taking that gear to the next level. That's all I have today. Thanks for watching my video. Bye everyone.